Hey guys, it's Jojo Manzanita and as I promised before, I'm here to do this full coverage makeup tutorial with you guys and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I am going to start off and usually what I like to do is put a little bit of cream and I'm using the Shea Butter, it's my favorite. You don't have to use this if you have really oily skin, but mine is on the dry side. So this is the one I use and it's just a regular lotion. And then I like to go in with a hydrating, illuminating primer. And this one is this rose gold red one and I love this. All you need is a few drops. Okay, so all you need is a few little drops. And what I like about this is um, it comes with some oils too. So you have to melt those down and it's, a, it's pretty shiny and it's really pretty. And you just melt it with your hands right over your skin and what it does is hydrates currently i have fallen in love with il Mikash and i love this foundation too it's like if you it's like it's very natural and it's not cakey and they have a little test obviously this is not sponsored but they have a little test that you do depending on if you have oily skin or you have dry or if you break out easily the color tone of your skin all the things so i really do like this foundation it feels like i'm not wearing anything at all as you can see and it brightens it even Now I like the sponges a lot more than I do the regular other applicators. I have a brush here for foundation, but I do prefer the sponge and it is whatever works best for you. Whatever you feel that textures you better. Whatever you feel that covers you better, that's what you want to use. Now, before I go into highlighting and contouring, I like to cancel out the any undertones of the circles on my under my eyes. And how I do that is I can either do it with eyeshadow or I can do it with a red lipstick. And the reason I'm choosing the red tones is because when I get um, circles under my eyes, they tend to be a cool color, so you want to cancel that color out with a warm color. I'm going to go ahead and use a red. It's just a red lipstick. So I'm just gonna add a few little dots under it and then it's gonna look red for a bit. And all I wanna do is pat those down. And then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. And the one I'm using is Revlon Color Stay. So it's just a regular um, highlighter. I usually like creating a like a triangle under my eyes and that's just to outline where I'm going to be highlighting and obviously that spreads out but I don't know I just like doing the triangles are my eyes now I'm gonna go in my eyes and I'm gonna start with the first one that I put the highlighter on and just blend it into the rest of your skin I'm gonna go in my nose. 
I just want to make my nipple a little more defined. I'm gonna go in my cheekbones. Then I'm a little bit more defined as well. In my face a little. I'm gonna switch brushes and just underneath. This is just like an angled brush. And I'm gonna go for a pointed, a pointed brush, actually, I should say. Underneath to make my a slimming effect under my chin for those double chins. I'm trying to make myself okay. Those double chins. I'm gonna make them more defined, more slimming. Hide them a little. Now I'm going to use this translucent. Luxivia translucent powder to bake a little under my eyes and the only the only time that I will do this is when I'm going to a special event and only because um, if I do it every day it'll dry my skin out and I don't need it every day so this is more like a special event thing but since I'm doing a full coverage makeup tutorial might as well include it for in case you guys are Wanting to go somewhere special, I don't know, after this quarantine. I know that a lot of you guys may want to be going out on dates. Taking out your special someone, somewhere nice. So, that under your eye. Okay. Now let it bake a little. Now, I'm going to go ahead and highlight a little. And I'm going in with this brush, and it's like a blush brush too. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Master Chrome, and it's a highlighter. It's like. A
do is go in with a blush and this is I'm gonna use the regular eyeshadows to do this blush because I don't have a blush that will give me the colors I want. And it's basically a regular target eyeshadow thing called Infatuation by Profusion. And it does what I want it to do, so that's why I have it. And I'm gonna use the outspoken on the corner here of my cheeks, and then I'm gonna start off with the bouncy just to create a shadowed illusion. to end this look with um pro touch setting spray and it's basically like a hairspray if you think about it because um hairspray just keep your hair in place so this is a setting spray and it helps to keep your makeup in the right place as well as maintain it for a longer time right now and a pink lipstick and it's not any of the ones I want. I think a more bouncy more I don't know. One thing a bit more pink and I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna use this one to create the lipstick that I want. All I'm gonna do is use my fingers and Pass it on my lips. You can use eyeliner if you want, but I'm not going to because I do not want to. Um, I usually do put a lip gloss over this. But I like the matte look, which is what it gives me. But first, I do use a coconut-based um, oil for my lips so that it could hydrate them as well as take the color of whatever eyeshadow I'm putting on my lips. And that's when I don't have um, the actual lipstick that I want is when I do this. And it works out great. And it lasts long. So, and another thing, it doesn't end up on your hand. So, you'll kiss your loved ones and not have the embarrassing situation of you printed lips on somebody, which is good. I'm not going to add any mascara. If you guys could see, I actually do have eyelashes. The reason I did like the eyelashes is because it gives me that voluminous and full eyelash look without me having to go in there with mascara. So it makes me skip a step, but also it's, I feel like it's more manageable. With my mascara, it, it takes me at least five, 10 minutes to get it right. And I have risk messing up the whole look. I don't like it looking clumpy, so I do like a mascara. The one I usually use when I don't have eyelashes is this green one here or the blue one that it's um, by Voluminous Feline. I really love the blue one. They don't have the blue one, it's been out of stock, but I use the green one or the blue one. I love the blue one though, it's my favorite. I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial and if you guys want a skincare routine let me know and i will be more than happy to make you a skincare routine tutorial or my skin tutorial so let me know below and i will be more than happy to make that now also i'm watching you you better like share and subscribe